In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your iPhone change its wallpaper automatically each period of time, depending on how you set it up. Let's begin. First of all, as you probably could have guessed, you're going to need the Shortcuts app, which you can download for free from the App Store. So make sure to go ahead and do that before we begin. And the way it works is that you, of course, set up a shortcut. So I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to get right into it. You open up the shortcuts app and then you click on create a new shortcut. So make sure to tap on create a new one and add action. The first thing that you will have to do is to type in URL. This is like, of course, for the website access. And the reason we do this is to access a website, of course, from which we're going to be downloading some photos. I mean, not really downloading, just using them as a wallpaper. So you probably know about some of the websites where you can access photos. One of them is called Unsplash. I've used it a lot of times in the past for my projects. So here in this URL tab, make sure to type in source.unsplash.com slash daily. And if you want to specify uh, what the photos should be about or what should be in the photos that you want to use in your wallpapers, then you can add slash question mark and type in some sort of keyword like dog or I don't know. Then you'll need to add another element. It's going to be the get content thing. So make sure to search for it. So get content from the URL. Then you're going to click, I mean, add another element and it's going to be get images from the contents of the URL, which was the previous thing. And then you're going to add another thing. You have to search for wallpapers and there you can actually even pick if you want the wallpapers to be changed on the lock screen or just the home screen. So make sure to leave the one that you want the wallpapers to change on selected. So you can see the deck right next to it. So you can only pick the home screen or just lock screen or both if you want to. By the way, guys, before we continue, I want to say that if you are new on this channel, make sure to subscribe because I try to provide you with some valuable content. So make sure to stay tuned for more videos like these in the future and hit the thumbs up if this actually works. Okay, so here tap on show more and there you can see we have this one green thing that you have to uncheck. So no, not showing preview or anything like that. Make sure that it's turned off. Then hit next and make sure to name this shortcut, the sequence that we created, something like wallpaper or whatever you want. Now, when you run the shortcut, it's going to ask you to like confirm it. So make sure to tap on OK, but it should change your wallpaper automatically. But the thing is that you can leave it as it is, but it means that you have to tap the shortcut every time you want to change a wallpaper. So it's going to randomly select one, but only when you tap on the shortcut, that means that you run it. You can even automate this process. I'm going to get to it in just a second, but keep in mind that you can leave it as it is. So it can as well be useful when you just want to change it. You want to change the wallpaper, so you just run the shortcut and you don't like want to change it every day or so. But if you want to wake up to a brand new wallpaper every single morning, here is what you have to do. So I of course assume that you have created the shortcut that I just showed you. Now you have to open up the shortcuts app once again and click on the automation. Uh, you can see it down below and make sure to create a new one. Tap personal automation and click time of the day. And here is when it gets interesting. You can choose whatever you want, of course, but probably you want one wallpaper for a day so it should begin or it should change every morning so that's why for this you may choose something like the sunrise most people are probably okay with this option but you can choose whatever time of the day you want of course then hit next and then search for the thing called run shortcut so you pretty much choose that every sunrise you want one shortcut to be run and the shortcut that you want to use order to run every morning it's going to be the one that we just created so search for the wallpaper shortcut this is of course the shortcut that we just created and then hit next and one thing you also have to make sure is that ask before running is disabled. That means that it doesn't ask you if you really want to change the wallpaper every single morning. 
you want this thing to run automatically in the background. So make sure to uncheck the green thing right here. So after you set everything up and if you have done everything correctly, then every morning you should wake up to a brand new wallpaper, only from the selection that you narrowed it down to and you pretty much understand what's going on in here. But like I say, it's best when you do it and create this entire shortcut on your own, meaning that you do not rely on anything and you know exactly what's going on and you can even modify the thing, you can modify the website that you are getting the images from, or you can change the topic or the theme of the images. So make sure to play around with it, just make sure that it actually works for you. And like I said, if it does work, then I want to know how many people it actually worked on, so make sure to click the thumbs up. I'm gonna check the thumbs ups under, under the video to see how many people got it right and how many people made it work on their devices. So thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and found some value in this video. If you did, I would be really grateful if you, of course, subscribed to this channel. It's going to help you stay updated and know what's going on about the latest Apple topics. And it also helps the channel grow. So make sure to think about it, consider doing it, and see you guys later in the next video.